one day we'll get over talking about these ladies. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Because we just love them. We're like BFF forever with them now. So. Right. Um, anyway. Oh, my gosh. So, did you watch the Mary J. Blige documentary? Not yet. Oh, you have to watch it. I love will. it. I want to. Ugh, I just wanted to cry. I just loved it so much. I was listening to her on the way here. Oh, yeah? But, yeah, just, like, old music. From her 411 album. Yes, 411 mm -hmm. and, my, and My Life are the two, my favorite albums. Yeah. So. And I actually hadn't listened to her. Like, I feel like... Some songs I've listened to so much that I'm just like, skip, skip, you uh -huh. know? But I was jamming to them. Oh, yeah. I'm going to work on, what, uh, one day this week. I just, it was turned up so loud. I was dancing on the way to work, like, trying to what? get myself in the mood to yeah. be up all night. But Did yeah. you ever skip with your coworker like you were supposed to? <coughs> Clearly not, because I just looked at you like, what the hell are you talking about? Bless Remember you. what? Thank you. Remember when we did our skipping video? Yes. yes. And how it's like a mood lifter. And you said, watch, when I get out of my car, because don't you walk <gasps> in with your yes, car? Yes, you're right. You I did not. You said you're going to skip. I, I did not. I forgot. Okay. And she's now on vacation for two weeks. Oh, and then I go wow. on vacation, so I won't see her for like a month. Wow. So, but maybe remind me again and I'll, I'll make her skip. <laughs> remind me in a, about a month and a half. <laughs> because it was so funny. She's a very negative type per very pessimistic person I'll say who did yeah who did Julie <laughs> and so she's very pessimistic and I always we always like tease her about it but I think she thinks that we're just like we only notice that uh -huh. and then this doctor came and we were talking to him the other day and he was just like yeah I'm, she's so negative so like down and you know why her, her nickname should be why and I was laughing my oh, wow. butt off because I'm like see everybody sees it you complain all day every day Right. But we love you, but I don't even think she realizes she does it, you know? I think um, we just get in our habits, you know? True. And I think just, you know, <laughs> not that that's stresses good. at home, stresses at work. And, and I was a lot like that before, but now it's like, I don't like to be like that because it really does make an impact on your on your day you know right. so sometimes especially like if I'm on vacation I come back and she wants to fill me in on all the drama and I sometimes I'm just like I don't even want to hear it right. and I know she probably needs to get it off her chest and you know but I'm like I don't even want to hear about what went on when I wasn't here because I didn't think about this place one time you know right like I love the the girls I work with and but other than that I I could do without work yeah. You know, I'm just over it. With the gossip? No, it's just like the drama with the surgeons and, oh, you know, okay. and, you know, the coworkers and getting surgeries, you know, lined up and whatever, okay. whatever the drama may be. So, yeah. I just, ugh, when I'm not there, I don't want to know. Yeah. So, but I love her. She's been my bestie at work for 10 years. So, wow. Yeah, we've been partners for 10 years. And that's where I came up with the partner <laughs> thing. Because like, we always call each other our partner because it's just her and I at night. You know, oh, there's only okay. two of us that work in the department. So I always call her my partner. That's how I explain, you know, who she is. And so then when I said that about you at the, at the retreat, retreat <laughs> I said, you know, I got my white elephant gift and I was like, I'm, you know, we had to introduce yeah. ourselves or whatever. And I said, and I'm here with Kel, my partner, you know, partner in crime I met and partner on the channel. And so then people thought we were gay and not really <laughs> sisters. And it was very confusing to some people and they had to clarify that. And it was funny. So, yeah, it was very funny. <laughs> so we were not hiding our love affair and coming out when it was acceptable. We were really just sisters, but partners in the channel. Yeah, for sure. So, <laughs> anyway, but back to the bean. Oh my god, <laughs> my sister hates you the guys. Bean. The bean. I love the bean. I love the bean. I just can't explain it. I don't know why I like it. I think it's just the backdrop against the buildings, and it's so cool. Like, and I think we were just very lucky with that we got there the day we did and the time we did because there was like hardly any people around the bean. Yeah, and you. So got, I got really cool photos. Yeah, you did. So, yeah, she's all about the bean. Love the bean. And this beautiful bean footage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, at least that bean don't make you fart. That's very true. 
and there's no dog <clears throat> trying to get my bean in the recipe. <laughs> So um, I'm working on a custom for my ex-sister-in-law who's getting remarried, love her, happy for her, so I offered to do this diamond painting so that she can display it at her wedding reception. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what this is for. It's oh going to be gosh. framed, I believe, for her wedding reception and have that up. So that's going to be Are cool. Are you going to make like a little plaque, diamond art by Chris or something? I You're bet. like, why? I wasn't, but I could attach a crafts and coffee thing in case people want <gasps> to follow our channel or our Instagram. Great idea. You know, just throw that out there. I could, we could put it in the corner or something. Um, we are going to be doing a giveaway through Instagram. We're almost at 1,500. Yes. So that will be happening, but Pretty our, soon. our subscribers, we're not getting any more. Yeah, we're not getting a lot of uh, YouTube subscribers, and I know that we've kind of been mm -hmm. MIA for a little bit, um, but if any of you YouTubers have any suggestions on how we grow our, our numbers, because we're just kind of like at a loss, we're stuck, we've been stuck around three... We're not even at 350, right? Are we at 350? No, we're at like no. 342. Yeah, yes, so we just I can't know. break the 350, so... I don't know why. Maybe we're just not that great. <laughs> yeah. We're not as maybe, great. Maybe people just don't care about what we're doing. I don't know. We're not as great as we think we are. <laughs> well, I, I, it's not about. I don't think we're. I don't think we're like. You know, Major. crushing the diamond painting scene or anything. But you, you know, don't. I'm just kidding. I mean, there's people that you know. A lot of people were excited to see us at the retreat, and we're like, oh my god, it's Chris and Kill. Thank you, thank you. Because I flipped my hair. Oh sure. my gosh. But no, no, none of that went on. Just no, joking. it's more like they know who we are. I know. That was a little weird. We rolled up in the car with the windows <laughs> down, and they're like, it's Chris and Kim. It was Jenny and Nikki. Yes. It's Chris and Kim. And we were like, whoa. So we had to give hugs right away. Of course. But, um, yeah, it's fine. You know, it's fine. It is what Everything, it is. Yeah. It is and, what it is. And, you know, I know what people are going to say. They're going to say, you got to go live. Oh, because well, people will just pop into a live if it's going on, even if they're not subscribed, yeah. just oh. to like check it out, see what we're doing. Okay. Okay. Well, and through StreamYard, we could do it through StreamYard, you know, until we reach that thousand subscribers, you know. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> maybe that's what we have to do. Yeah. I have not been so excited about doing a live, but I guess we could. I think it's great um, that there's two of us because we can be talking, but then one of us could be looking at the chat. Yes. And letting, you know, the other That's know. You. I'm fine with you that. You got the chat. Um, letting, you know, you know what they're saying and what they're asking. Yes, and yes. Because it's so much more interactive. Like That's you're, true. You know, that you're just... True. You're just listening to us talk. You're not really able to put any input into it. That's very true. So. I mean, we have fun going into other people's lives, so we should mm -hmm. maybe. We, okay, guys, get ready. We're about to. We're about to do this. <laughs> we're about to do a live and watch us step on someone's toes and go live when they're live. <laughs> I know, and that was the other thing is like we have to figure out when we can go live. You know. Yeah, because I'm only here, you know, a limited amount of time. So let's so. try to do it on a Saturday. Not everybody's going live during the day on Saturday. True. So maybe we should do like a one o'clock on a Saturday or something like that. You know, yeah. or no, because that would be four o'clock Eastern. So we got to watch that too. But we'll figure it out, guys. But we're gonna do a live soon. Yeah. Promise we will. And then let's see where our numbers go from there. My drills just are not. You know. Tell us, Kale. Tell us. Tell us all your frustrations. My drills are not sticking the way they should. What do you think? I don't think this canvas is very sticky. Oh, or really? it's Or <clears throat> the uh, double-sided adhesive that I've been working on at home, the blank canvas is very sticky. So mm. I don't know. You're and like I frustrated? just... I No, I mean, not too bad. It's just, it's like... When they they move way too easy. Mm, okay. Yeah, I don't like when that happens. So there's a fine line. There is a fine line. Yeah. You want them to move, but not too much. Right. You don't be too stiff. I hear you, girl. Yeah. The diamond painting woes. <laughs> the diamond painting woes. 
and people are probably like, why is she using tweezers? Because I won't. I want to. Who that? <laughs> Who that? Who that? But we're not going to explain what that means. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, okay, we're driving from Texas, and we're tired. Delirious. Deliriously tired. <laughs> and so, I don't know, I get some spam phone call. <laughs> and you <laughs> answer it. <laughs> and I answered, and I was like, Who that? Who that? And the guy was like, ma'am, do you speak English? <laughs> and I don't know what he thought I was saying or what language that was, but I was almost peeing my pants. I was laughing so hard. And so that was just the joke. So we kept doing that every time we got a phone call. And then mom's car knocks for some reason. Every once in a while, it'll just start going knock, 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 knock. And so then I was like, who that? And we're like, is there a Keebler elf in there making cookies in the car, in the wheel? It was, it, I know. It's not that funny when you tell the story, but it was hilarious while we were I think it's hilarious. Because it. we're going to now be doing that. We, yeah, who dat? <clears throat> so this is our who dat episode. Yeah, who dat? <laughs> so like if someone goes to the, comes to the door or you talk about someone, I yeah. say who dat? <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh my gosh, man. I hate multi-placers for the sticking app. I mean, sometimes I just can't get them all to stick. I know. You got to rock it. Rock the boat. Wow. Rock the place. Is that what it is? Ah, uh, that worked. Oh, wow. I taught you something. You just are <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Whatever. You teach everybody. At the retreat, she was teaching people stuff. Not really. Well, Ashley mostly, because she didn't watch our channel at the time. <laughs> and I kept telling her, you know, we have a channel, and we have an episode about that. I was giving her a hard time, and she's like, okay, I'll watch the channel. I know. We forced her to. I kept doing it, though. I kept saying, we, you know, whenever a topic would come up, we have an episode. <laughs> right? We discussed that. It was funny. It was really And funny. we, Karen, Karen is our fan club president. <laughs> I love Karen. <laughs> Don't say that. It sounds Why? so silly. Because she's not. But she really is like, anytime somebody would start talking about something, like we were in a, a framing class, and I heard Karen saying, you know, Chris and Kel did a video on this, and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, and I wasn't saying anything. And she was like, right, didn't you guys do a video? And I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but she did that multiple times. It was so cute. She's the sweetest. She's so sweet. She really, like... It likes our channel. She won one of our giveaways. Yeah. Um, so we yeah. always like say like our fan club president because she knows <laughs> all about us. She watches all of our videos. I we know. love Karen. She's so cute. Yeah. Love you, Karen. Yeah. I talked to her for a little bit about her framing her piece that she wants to frame. And so I kind of just went over a couple cool. couple things. And she goes, yeah, I'm going to watch your video again before I do it. Aw. <laughs> yeah. That was really, really cool. Yeah. And that was our only fan, so. No <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, okay. but walking isn't working. I want to. I want to go back yeah. next year for sure. Oh, for sure. We we definitely want to go back. I mean, fingers crossed that mom's doing okay to where I can leave her for the week. Um, yeah. But we definitely want to go back. It was amazing. It's gonna be in the Great Lakes. Um, same location Battle Creek again uh, but I think I might do something different as far as like getting a car or keeping a car oh really I don't know I just didn't love the Being problem stranded. Lift, yeah. you know that was really or we just have to communicate with the other crafters and see if we can like go with them to the airport and we flew out of um Grand Rapids and yeah. that was a little far but we had to because of the flight we were taking to Texas so I think we would do that differently as well maybe yeah. go to Kalamazoo and maybe take a later flight or something yeah for sure maybe coordinate you know yeah, with others yeah. like when they need to yes. go to the airport yes de definitely so yeah. uh, but live and learn we it was fine it all worked out in the end and yeah yeah Kel didn't kill me we were still talking after traveling together for 13 days yeah it was crazy because we haven't spent this much time together since we were kids and that wouldn't go well so and that was because we were forced to i know right <laughs> this was by choice yes 
<laughs> but it was so much fun. And that was Kel's really like first travel. Yeah. You know, like out of the West Coast, right? Yeah. Other yeah. than being a kid going to Michigan. Yeah. So it went well. And I don't know that she wants to do it all over again, but how do you feel about the traveling thing? Now that it's over, did you like it? Did you not? Would you do it again? Would you not? Like, I would do it is again. Is it for you or not? It is. Um, the pace was a little quick for me. You know, I, I would have liked to, looking back, you know, like, like we walked through a park, but we didn't sit on the bench and enjoy the park. Right, right. We saw the dogs playing in the park, but we could have watched them. You know, that type of yeah. thing. And I know we had very short time and yes. stuff like that, but those are just the little changes, yeah. you know, and definitely, you know, adding on Texas to the whole thing, I think tipped it over the edge it for did. me. You know, I would have been happy to just go home after the retreat and, yep. you know, so I think to compare it, you know, that wouldn't happen again. So. Yeah. Well, it was a special circumstance. Yeah, you know, for sure. It definitely wasn't like oh, this would be fun. Right. You know? <laughs> right. It was a, ne a necessity. So, um, but yeah, I agree. Like, we, we went really fast, but I just wanted you to see as much as possible. I wanted to see as much as possible. and Yeah, um, it was beautiful. Yeah, it was good. Loved it. Loved Chicago. I'd go back. Um, the food, you know, everybody talks about the pizza. Mm -hmm. And it was fine, but honestly, I think I love New York pizza better. Okay. Um, I was super pumped about the hot dog, though. That was a, a big that, surprise. I love the hot dog. The Chicago-style hot dog I did not expect to like because I don't usually like a lot of stuff on my hot dogs. Um, mm -hmm. And I don't eat meat anymore, but they had a vegan hot dog, which was great. Yes. Uh, so it was really – it was that was fun. I liked I liked that, and we had Chicago popcorn. Love. Um, so that was cool. And that's cheese and caramel mixed together. Yeah, I ate all the caramel out and let the cheese go. <laughs> and then it was all stale the next day. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually two days later, I think. Oh, okay. But um, what was the company called with the hot, with the popcorn? Garrett's? Was it Garrett's or something like that? I'm not sure. Oh, oh Sounds man. familiar. It was so good. So good. And we got a lot of good souvenirs. We so. did. We got a lot of souvenirs, brought back a lot for everybody. Oh, super enjoyed the Starbucks roastery. Yeah. It was four levels, right? Or five? Yes, four. Four. Uh, so that was super cool. Loved that. Um, we just had a lot of fun, so. Yeah, it was just really busy so yeah. when we went. So when you travel again, you want to go slower and not, and just kind of enjoy a little yeah. more. Not, not necessarily talking about Chicago, but anywhere we go. Yeah. So I think next year, I want to go to Detroit. Yeah. Like we were initially going to do. Right. Go to Detroit. There's a couple things we could probably see there, like Motown stuff, museum. Mm -hmm. um, and we have to go to Frankenmuth. Yes. We're going to Frankenmuth. Yeah. We went as kids. Yes. Yes. And if anybody doesn't know what Frankenmuth is, it's a little German area and a little town, I guess. And they have... Um, it looks like Germany, and then they have this Christmas store that is open 362 days a week, a year. I don't think it's 365, but, um, and it's just so cool. I remember going as a kid, and so I really want to go back and see that. Yeah, it was so was magical. Fun. Yeah, as a kid, we were just like, and it was so big, and I'm sure it's not that big. Right. I'm sure the town itself is not that big. I don't even know if it's a town, to be honest. I don't know if it's just a little, like, area, area that... You know. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that's our plan for next year, and we'll probably just do like go in like two days early or a day early or something. Yeah. And not that way we're not super tired for the retreat. Yeah. Um, we can get tired at the retreat by not <laughs> sleeping. <laughs> right. So. Yeah, and I I probably won't want to be on the third floor again. Oh yeah. But I don't care about second that. floor is fine. Yeah, I didn't care about the third floor, although it was you a know, little warm. I think it, it would bother me. Actually, I think the third floor is fine because I won't have walked through Chicago first. That's true. <laughs> and, and but for me, I like the third floor because you could hear nothing downstairs, yeah. nothing, and so to sleep was easy. I had no problem sleeping. Yeah. 
Uh, I just worry about the second floor, people walking by and walking upstairs and, you know. That's true. So for me, I might not. But honestly, we don't sleep a lot anyway, so when we crash, we crash. Yeah. So it was... Yeah, actually, I did like the third floor with the window right there. Yeah. And we saw deer playing. Wild that was turkeys. so cute. Wild turkey, bunnies. Um, I would have loved to have taken a walk. Well, I did walk. <laughs> In the rain, <laughs> I did walk. To get me some booze. Because <laughs> uh, I was mad, so I was able to walk in the rain. Um, so that was nice, but I wanted to walk like there's supposed to be a creek or something, or I don't I know. I could hear the water. Yeah, I thought I could too. And I asked Mindy, like, where's the creek? She's like, I don't know. So yeah. I said, okay. But it rained the whole time, so we couldn't even um, take a walk. And there was so. a tornado warning. Oh, that was interesting because we didn't know what to do because we're from California and we don't have tornadoes. No. Nope. And we're looking to everybody that lives around there and everybody's chilling, like not doing anything. And we're like, what do we do? <laughs> so that was funny. But I, it just brought back memories as being a kid and having to get woken up to go to the basement, you know? Uh, so it was a little. Yeah, when we were visiting our grandparents. Yeah. Sorry, we're talking about the retreat again. <laughs> we keep going back to we that. We do, we do. We keep going back. We so wish great. we were back we there. Do. <laughs> it was great. We have music going and eating a lot of snacks and a lot of soda and just all the stuff we wouldn't, I shouldn't have been eating, but it was fun. Yeah. So what's going on in your life now? Right now? Me? You. I'm just working and... Diamond painting and trying to finish my mini Aaliyah from Heaven and Earth Designs. Mm -hmm. It's a blank canvas. Um, and I only have one more row left. I can't wait to finish because it's huge oh. and oh. I'm over it. Yeah. But I will have to change the colors in her face oh. because I don't know why. Yeah. But she's so blotchy in the middle like where her nose is and yes, stuff. Yeah, she so is. Don't like that at all. I'm going to finish it, and then I'm going to take a picture to show what it looks like, and then I'm going to go back and fix it, Fix it, and then Good. I'll be done. Good. So. Yeah, like this one, it's not the most exciting, colorful piece, so I'm just trying to get this done, and it's super fast. Like, I can get this section done in, like, three hours. Uh-huh. Um, and so I only have you know, four more squares after this and I'll be finished with that in the, within the week. I, I think by Friday I can finish it. Oh, that's good. Um, and her wedding is until November. So I am really ahead of the game, but I just want to get it done into her so she can frame it and do whatever she oh, wants to do. Oh, she's going to frame it. I was just going to ask you. Yeah. I don't know what she wants to do. So I'm just going to send it back to her. We didn't discuss anything. So oh, okay. I'm just going to tell her I finished it and you can frame it now and explain how to frame it, you know? Yeah. Um, so yeah, but we're all, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. It's getting, getting there. Yeah. So much of the beginning of this year, I was working on canvases based on events, <laughs> events. Yes. And, um, I'm kind of over it. You know, it was dictating what I was going to work on, even what I was going to buy sometimes. And I kind of just, I, I want to make sure that it doesn't feel like work when yeah. I'm doing this and I'm I'm feeling a little bit of a burnout mm -hmm. um, but that just tells me that it's you're not like, doing it for you right well I'm not doing it, it for the pleasure of doing exactly it, yeah you know that's what I mean by doing and it for you I just I think I need to not because I'm so um, focused on the end result like I gotta mm -hmm. get this done I got you yeah. know but really I don't have a deadline <laughs> you know yeah. I don't I just I don't want to put something to the side I'd rather just finish it because mm -hmm. knowing that I have to go back to it is gonna bum me out so let me just finish it that's how I 
No, I agree. Because in the beginning, I never had a multiple whips. I always finished the piece, and then and now I have like one, two, three, four. I think I have like three or four whips, and it drives me nuts. Yeah. So I'm gonna finish this one. I want to finish my tree that I started um, at the retreat, mm -hmm. uh, and then Chuck, I'll I need to start working on that here and there a little bit. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just take up the whole table and have Chuck <laughs> right. there and work on him a little bit, and then work on my African glamour. Glamour, oh. right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, that will be after I finish this and the tree. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to start that one. So I might just have both. I mean, I and I have one, I have two for mom, and I told her we could work on them together, but mm -hmm. she's not there. She doesn't She doesn't have the energy yet, and she doesn't want to diamond paint right now. So, okay. but when she's ready, we can always do that. So yeah. I will have another whip going. But I'll let, you know. And it's a square. Uh, the horse is a square. Mm. We haven't unboxed that one yet. Um, and she's never done a square, so she's kind of like, I don't know. I might just try it. Right. Just try it. So yeah, you can always roll it back up okay. and put it in the box. Well, and then I can finish it. I want to get that one done, though, so I can hang in her room. Oh, yeah, that was so nice. So she has, you know, I want to try to make it feel like her room. Yeah. Where is my in? And, and. Well, I only, I guess I have four whips. I have my mini Aaliyah. I have this willow. I have a all crystal canvas mm -hmm. kit. And then I have my festive fireplace that I stopped working on <laughs> at the end of last year. Wow. And I plan on finishing that. For Christmas? Yeah. So I think I'm going to go back to that for no start November. Mm, okay. And I'm just going to plow through. Yeah. But I, I love, I enjoyed it. I love the colors. It wasn't that I in, I didn't enjoy it. It's just, it's a seasonal piece. Yeah, and it's big, what, right? Yeah, it's, it's very large. And once the new year hit, I was, you know, the new year is so much about new beginnings and new yeah, starts. Yeah, you're over Christmas. Yeah. So that was my, the first whip I ever put away. Oh, okay. And I even unkitted it. <gasps> you did not. Well, they're in baggies. Oh, wow. Because you didn't have enough storage? Or <clears throat> no, I was time? I was pretty, you know, newish. Really? I mean, Wait, well, not, not newish, newish been but... been for a year prior. But as far as storage goes, oh. I only had that one 60-piece, oh. I don't know. Oh, okay. So I regret doing that. Because now I think I just have numbers on the bag. Mm. That sucks. Yeah, so, but... I enjoyed it, and I was even looking at the other um, the other holiday canvas that DAC has, but no, Kelly, no. Exactly. <laughs> I was Stop thinking it. of um, getting a Christmas one, but I, no, I don't need, I have so many pieces. I have now, my stash is just DACs alone. I think I have 18, 17, but Chuck, the one I'm working on, so... And you just finished that nutcracker. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, maybe. Well, anyway. And I did finish the, um, for the nutcracker uh, Christmas in July. Are you going to do a post review or should you sh do you want to show that right now? You're not going to film a post review for I'm that. I'm not because I never did a, no. It was, it's just a little site, you know. But we can show it right now if you want to grab it. Yeah. Um, I turn, love how it turned out and I was going to post the final uh, product on Instagram and, and I'll Facebook. I'll hold it up and you could talk about it. So this is from GBFKE and I am obsessed with nutcrackers. They are my favorite thing. Uh, it's what I decorate with for Christmas and I I did add a bunch of ABs. There's white, green, and red ABs in this thing. Um, yeah, there's some red. I, I didn't add the a, the green ABs over here because I thought it was just too much. Um, but now looking at it, I might have to. I'm not really I'll sure. Show but it a little closer. Anyway, I love it. I think it's so cute. And I had so much fun working on this piece. It's a perfect size. It's a great size. It says it's 35 by 45, but it's probably like a 30 by 40. Yeah, yeah. Um, I love it. I think it's, it's one of my favorites. So yeah. It's but anyway, cute. so that's 
So that's what we're doing. That's what we've been doing. Yeah. Okay, let's tell our dad joke. Okay. You go first. And I won't cut you off and interrupt you and, and <laughs> yeah. tell the spoil it because I don't want her to walk out and get mad. So go ahead. Oh, whatever. <laughs> what do you call a pudgy psychic? A pudgy psychic? I don't know. A four chin teller. <gasps> that is so <laughs> rude. Oh my gosh. That is fat shaming at its finest. A four chin teller. <laughs> wow. Hey, I can relate, so I can say that, Joe. How many chins do you have? Probably three. Okay. You're there. I'm working on my fourth. <laughs> there you go. Okay, mine is, how do you get a country girl's attention? Show a little cow. <laughs> that no. was terrible. Attract her. Attract her. Oh. <laughs> Attract her. Attract her. Attract her. <laughs> You may have to insert a picture of a tractor for them to get I it. like that one. <laughs> no, that's cute. Okay. All right. Sorry, guys. I don't know if you guys like this one. Let us know below if we suck or if we still got it. Because we, we may have lost it on that trip. If we still got it, did we ever have it? <laughs> well, you know, looking at our uh, YouTube subscribers, we may never have had it. So, whatever. But we enjoy ourselves. Yeah, that's what's important. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and, you know, do that YouTube thing. Bye!